Hey, this is Kevin Clay from One Way Manufacturing. In this video, I'm going to be discussing all the features of what makes our banjo the best banjo you can buy for a lathe. When we designed our 2436 lathes, or actually any of our lathes, one of the things that we really concentrated on and tried to make better than any other machine on the market was the banjo. So in our banjo, we've got patented technology that nobody else has. All other lathes, the shaft that clamps the banjo has got a cam machined on both ends. The cam raises and lowers an eye bolt, and that is what clamps the banjo to the bed of the machine. With a longer shaft, you can get considerable deflection. So when you're clamping in the middle of the range, you push down on the handle, the handle will deflect a long way. And when you clamp close to the ends, the shaft is supported and you won't get nearly the same amount of deflection. Well, with our patented mechanism, no matter where we clamp in the range, the handle goes into the same position. It will also clamp both right and left sides. The way that we did this is that Inside the banjo, we've machined a lip that runs the length of the bottom. So this is the heart of our patented banjo mechanism. We've got the cam. The cam has a square hole in it, which makes it easier and more positive to drive with our shaft. Here's the rise on the cam. The cam goes into the eye bolt. And then the support blocks, there's one on either side. And those support blocks are held in place with a snap ring. The finish mechanism looks like this. As you raise and lower the eye bolt, it will press this lip down onto the lip that's the shoulder that's machined onto the inside of the banjo, and that is what positively locks this mechanism and the banjo to the machine without any deflection of the shaft. Also, for clamping the tool rest, we have a screw, but the screw doesn't contact directly on the shaft of the tool rest. The screw pushes a, a pin, and that pin has the radius of the tool rest machined on it, and that's what clamps the tool rest. If you look very closely at our hole, you'll think that it's a very loose fitting hole. And indeed it is a loose fitting hole, but it's actually a tight fitting hole at the same time. We've machined two holes. At the front, for clearance, we machined a hole offset and about 30 thou bigger than the one inch post size. At the back of the hole, we've bored a precise one inch hole so that when the clamp moves forward, it pushes the tool rest into the precise one inch hole and gives a very secure fit. This gives us the ease of use of a sloppy hole. It allows you to use your older, perhaps marked up tool rest that wouldn't fit into a tight hole, but it gives us a precise clamping of a tight fit. The position of the handle can be adjusted by removing these bolts and rotating the pad. So if you don't like where this handle clamps, it's adjustable in one-eighth of a revolution increments. This is not a plastic speed handle. This is a all-steel handle that we manufacture in-house. And in 20 years of making the lathes, we've never replaced one that's worn or broken. The banjo itself is not made from cast iron. It's made from a material called ductile iron. Ductile iron is much stronger than regular cast iron. And it, one of the reasons why we can make the banjo relatively small and still be strong enough. The tool rest is also made out of ductile iron, so it's stronger and less likely to break than a cast iron tool rest. Thanks for watching. I hope I answered all your questions. For more information or to buy our banjo, click on the link below.